and welcome. This is me, Shuhak. Today I'm here to talk about some words that is very important for our high level examinations or any kind of writing. You are able, uh, you can use them in your writings. Okay, so let's start. So here's the thing that when nitrogen is like nitrous oxide uh, triggered, it uh, it is immersed. Through laughter. So, what does that mean? We heard about uh, nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is a chemical. You can know that you from the name. That is what. Uh, if I say the symbol, that is N2O, nitrous oxide. So, what does it? What it does? It's a gas. If you use that gas, that uh, people will laugh without any reason. Okay. It actually uh, kind of uh, anesthesia type of chemical it is uh, mostly used in uh, when the, uh, doctors like mostly the dentists use that or gynecologists also use that to some kind of anesthesia you know that what is it does okay it's like a uh, not feeling the pain or something like one okay so when nitrous oxide triggered it is immersed through after it will design happiness journey so as nitrous oxide does trigger uh, it is a menstrual laughter. That is why I have made this journey with the happiness. So happiness is like a word, which is we know that uh, happiness comes from where uh, peaceful weather or happiness comes from success. Happiness comes from if you do something good with others, if you true show someone that uh, their real gratitude or if someone appraises you, you find their happiness. That's the kind of things. Well, this is happiness journey. So let's start it with happiness journey. Uh, okay, so this is me. Okay, don't uh, what's that? This is <coughs> so for I use this picture for like uh, yeah yeah I am laughing. Okay, and that is like I have uh, some kind of nitrous oxide is uh, triggered on my uh, okay at that moment. Okay, so nitrous oxide it is called the laughing gas. So I am laughing. So you can see that I am laughing because uh, someone actually uh, sprayed that nitrous oxide or someone give me that um, a chemical. Okay, it is called nitrous uh, nitrous oxide. Okay. Another, this is me, okay, so I'm happy, so these are the words which is happy, jubilation, okay, you know that jubilation, okay, jubilation comes from, you can use some kind of uh, many contexts you can use in your own sentences, in your own learning procedure. Uh, procedures okay for me it's like uh, just build nation so just build nation is like uh, if I say that you are uh, from a country and uh, you actually visited a country or where you find a person of your own country and that person when uh, sees uh, saw you that you are from his country and he's feel like happy and he will give you the uh, he will give the bill or he will not allow you to pay any kind of uh, bills okay when you find that or when you it's like uh, you say that blood relation kind of things and uh, nation kind of relation this kind of jubilation just build nation so just build nation is like a context I'm using just like just uh, for the bill you get happiness or just you belong to that same nation he pay the bill okay just because you are from his own uh, you and uh, him or you could say that Mr. X and Mr. Y are from same nation just because X is from Y's nation he actually pays the whole bill or whole uh, he actually pay the what a kind of said that food bill okay so just kind of a thing you can understand the jubilation comes from happiness so when you see that uh, same person from same country you feel happy uh, especially the person who actually live in Canada Australia they feel happy when they see someone like uh, their own uh, nation public okay Jovial, okay. Jovial is like uh, you can make it. Joy is the vital element of our happiness. Joy means we know that when you feel like happy, happiness, uh, we feel joy, joyous moment, uh, happiness moment. You say that joyous moment, okay. So joy will be uh, vital. Joy is the vital element of our happiness. Joy is the vital element of uh, sharing the environment with uh, our dearest one. That is the thing. Elation. Election is uh, quite tricky and you can say that uh, election in nation so when uh, you see that uh, there is election in nation then uh, most of the supporting party or progressive party they are feeling happy and uh, the other persons also get happy they feel because they have the, uh, because they got the opportunity to sell something that is not actually uh, quite possible back then without uh, the election okay so such kind of things like banner publications uh, newspapers are prob uh, providing more 
news uh, news reporters are busy with their tight schedules they can uh, take uh, different kind of interviews from uh, many parties uh, many political parties many uh, is like uh, nominees uh, this kind of things many things happening many incidents happening many fighting happening they can cover that and uh, that's why they are actually getting more payment and that's why that gay happy uh, that's why they feel happy okay election in nation when election comes into a nation that means most of the people most of the people of that nation uh, becomes happy or there comes happiness okay ecstasy ecstasy pretty much easy and uh, you can see that ecstasy tasty okay oh, that's not the thing i said that uh, economic ecstasy okay what is economy Eco economic stay economics condition is easy so is this is when uh, you see that the economic condition of a country in conditions of a country stay easy that means they are happy they feel the happiness they can uh, share the happiness moment with their relatives one otherwise it is not possible okay once you see that the prices are much uh, higher than before they actually not able to meet the regular needs and uh, they feel that they can actually invite their relatives for to share happiness and they can express their feelings okay so when economy is easy they can uh, do the needy things or they can do the more than the needy things okay so they can buy some uh, good products they can buy go somewhere visit some places and that's uh, they can feel the happiness moment okay that's it like economic is uh, staying easy to stay let me say, I can say that uh, if you say that one kind country's economic uh, conditions is stay easy, that means that country's people are happy. Otherwise, they are not happy. That means there is a piece of uh, happiness or there is a happiness. Okay, that's it. So that is the thing I want to discuss with you. And uh, I, now I will switch to some uh, opposite of uh, this kind of words. Okay. Anguish. Angry you dish. Okay. Angry you dish. You your dish make me angry okay you can say that anguish anguish is a pain severe pain extreme level pain tribulation tribulation is like tribute to uh, late action that is like uh, showing gratitude or showing a uh, homage to the person who actually got uh, departed from the world or passed away this kind of thing you this is kind of pain okay this is the opposite of happiness okay so you can uh, ignore the picture this is uh, this is the pain okay i you can see the black picture that is pain i'm sharing the pain and the laughing comes out of pain okay that's in, like sometimes we say that ah, yeah, i am pain okay and i feel like i i have to laugh okay that's to release the pain okay paul paul is like uh when you feel gloomy when you uh, look dull you see that if paul is that like kind of word so paul is like one you can say any kind of word okay so I actually haven't made that, but uh, Paul is a common word, so you can understand that word. Uh, compunction. Compunction is like uh, commonly or is like uh, compressively function or uh, many kind of thing. Compunction is the same word, but it is related to, to sad, remorse type word. Okay, compunction is like uh, compound. When you see that their life seems to be complicated, their functions of your main functions is not working. Okay. When lives become compli complicated, the function of happiness not working at that moment. Okay, so you can see that remorse is working there. Okay, so I again say that that line is complete when complicated situation arises, your regular functions of happiness is not working. Okay, at that moment. So this is the four words you can understand in that way. Okay, another four words that is very very important that is like despondent. Okay, despondent is like uh, the common uh, related with compunction. They are more, lot more like serious, okay? Uh, I haven't made the magical sentence, but you can make the magical sentence, but uh, it is quite uh, similar, okay? So you can that despondent is like uh, you see that when a desperate student on uh, his study fails to understand the logical things, he feels sad, he feels remorse, okay? A desperate student on his study, uh, you can say that a desperate student. Um, on his uh, study find it uh, difficult and find it difficult to understand the logical things he feel gloomy he feel sad that's kind of thing you can understand this point then. gloomy you know that gloomy we say uh, we all know the rainy day words okay rainy day uh, the skies look gloomy and dull and gloomy gloomy is like 
the weather is dull the man is dull look gloomy he looks gloomy because of uh, getting uh, because of getting uh, low marks in his uh, exam he feel gloomy or he feels like gloomy or his face like uh, look like a gloomy environment that's kind of thing melancholy okay melancholy is the word which is a uh, lot more related with the other ones but you can use them uh, similarly you can see them okay melancholy is like uh, when you say that uh, man trying to launch a man trying to launch a holy book but he feels that it will destroy some uh, it atheist uh, atheist uh, life happiness okay that is like kind of thing okay if you launch a holy book holy book is like a pure book or that is not uh, related with uh, dirty things it's holy means pure okay there is no nothing uh, dust uh, uh, meted okay like uh, so when man uh, when anyone you can see that man launch a holy book uh, to understand the divine things more easily that that's the time when the atheists feel they uh, atheists feel they are not actually uh, can convince others to become uh, atheists like them okay that's it you can understand that word full on so for going to long run i feel that i am not able to go otherwise that's like he's in pain or something like that. he's tired he feels gloomy he has no in mood in to go uh, outside oh that's the thing okay so this is the four words you can understand in such a way uh okay this is not needed but you can actually understand that if you know the chemistry this is for you and uh, this is ammonium chloride with uh, sodium nitrate reaction and then you become ammonium nitrate plus sodium chloride and ammonium nitrate if you uh put some yeah what is called now? yeah previously pressure temperature it will convert it to nitrous oxide and it will give you uh two two amounts of uh, water which is uh, hydrogen oxide that is it uh that's the thing i want to skip thank you